Audacity version 3.6.2 is out, and with it comes the return of the legacy compressor and limiter effects. I'm going to show you how to get to those right now. With the release of version 3.6.0 and 3.6.1, the old legacy compressor and limiter effects went away and were replaced by real-time compressor and limiter effects. And the settings were completely different. Well, this got a lot of people's attention because they were used to the old limiter and compressor, especially if you're using it in a uh, macro, because the macro would call the new compressor or the new limiter and the settings were not the same, and it would really screw up your audio. So I'm going to show you how to get to those legacy settings right now. I have a screen open here to show you. If we come up to the effects drop-down menu, just like before, you'll notice that down here at the bottom, we now have a legacy category. And if I open up that legacy category, you'll see that I have the legacy compressor and the legacy limiter. So let's open one of these. This should look really familiar. If you're used to the old compressor in Audacity, which I am, then this will look really familiar to you. But now it's called Legacy Compressor. It's no longer called Compressor. So if you have a macro that is calling the compressor or limiter, it's calling up the new one. Let me show you that one. I'm going to cancel out of here. And let's come back up to the effects window. And let's go to volume and compression. And let me show you the new compressor first. Here it is. This is designed more for real-time effects. It's a good compressor. It just it has different settings. It has different values. And so if you're not familiar with this, it's going to be a little bit confusing. Or, like I said before, if you have it in a macro, it's going to run, but it's going to do funny things to your, to your track. So I'm going to cancel out of here. And if we look at the new limiter, you'll see the same thing. It's a little bit different window. It's got different settings, so it doesn't behave well if you're calling it in a macro. That's how to get to the new compressor and limiter, the legacy compressor and limiter within Audacity. Let me show you this as well. Let's come up here to Tools, and let's go to our Macro Manager, and let's see what we've got here. I've got several different macros here that are calling things out. You'll see that in this one, I am calling the limiter. If I run this macro, it's not going to run the legacy limiter. It's going to run the real-time limiter, the new limiter that's included now with 3.6.0 and 3.6.1 and 3.6.2. So if I want to get to the legacy limiter, let's go here to insert. And you still can't filter on this window if you're familiar with macros. We have to scroll over to the L's because we want the legacy. And you can see here... There's the legacy compressor and the legacy limiter. So if I bring up the legacy limiter and tell it OK, now it's calling the legacy limiter up here. And I could safely remove the other limiter down here, which is calling the real-time limiter. So if you are running a macro and you're running a compressor in the macro, the compressor is no longer in the Cs. Let's go back here for just a minute. If I want to insert a compressor here, and I just want to scroll over, if I if I select that compressor that's the real-time compressor that's not the uh, legacy if i want to install the legacy compressor again it's clear over here into the l's and there it is the legacy compressor so keep that in mind if you're using macros this has caused a lot of problems with my students who upgraded to 360 and then 361 because it was grabbing the wrong compressor and it wasn't working correctly because it has different settings in the new compressor and the new limiter so you have to scroll clear over to the L's and grab the legacy compressor and the legacy limiter if you want to use those effects on your track in a macro. So hey, that's all I have for you in this short video. I just wanted to show you where those two things were so that there wouldn't be any confusion. And I hope this video helped you. Until next time, take care.